G'day guys, we're here in the tent once more with another shipment of bugs which I'm going to open shortly and the bugs we have are actually doing really really well they're hard to capture on film because they fly so quickly and fast and they're a bit skittish but we have tons of these lace wings flying around the tent at the moment there's one buzzing around me right now so they've done really well um, kind of hatching out from their nymph state into the adults flying around the light there I don't know if you can see another one so the the lace wings have definitely kind of hatched out I don't know if they're laying eggs at the moment um, all I know is that they are in the tent they are proliferating and they are hopefully going to start laying eggs quite quickly having said that I have got new bugs I've got some more lace wings in fact because this plant here even though all my ladybugs have also hatched out you can see beautiful little ladybug on the back of that leaf over there this plant here is just so affected I just can't wait to for these guys to lay the next batch of eggs and to uh, do all that sort of stuff so I am going to chuck some more of these um, lacewing larvae on this plant and I expect that will be cleaned up within a matter of days although they are only eggs that they come through there's still some hot spots of aphids in other parts of the tents like on these Jepoticaba and I actually have a couple of new bugs in and I'll cut to them once I've opened up the box so that we can see what they are but there are a few other pests in this tent that I didn't notice before one of them is these horrible white flies um, so the white flies are also pest uh, kind of things that the, the uh, lacewing larva and the ladybug larva do eat these if they can catch them but I have some some predatory mites that will nail those guys I've got some bugs for the soil as well because there are I have noticed in some of these pots and I don't know if it's this pot but I've noticed little kind of mealworms and other grubs that are in here that are just uh, worrying me a little bit I, obviously I can't find any when I'm looking for them but I'm gonna scatter those so there's some beetle larva that eats um, nymphs and other little creatures in the soil little critters to help control those so open up that box we'll have a quick look at what they are maybe I'll post some pictures about what these bugs are meant to be and uh, yeah I'll come back and show you how that goes okay I've opened the boxes up now first of all we had these Hypoapsis, Hypoaspis predatory mites. So these mites here, they control fungus gnats and they and they prey on thrips. Now, fungus gnats, out of all the bugs that I have trouble with, fungus gnats are the ones that I had the least trouble with because I've already treated the soil with uh, that bacterial product uh, called mosquito bits, which kills all of the the nymphs specifically kills fungus gnat larvae. So. Um, that's one that I really don't have a trouble with but just in case there's a few hanging around we'll chuck some predatory mites in the tent they can help clean them up a little bit more as well lace wings obviously for the control of aphids scale insects nearly both caterpillars and whitefly these guys there's 2,000 eggs in here and I'm mostly going to put them at the base of that uh, that relinear plant so that we can clean up those final aphids and hopefully be done with the curse forever we have a new one, it's called Delosia Rove Beetles. There's a thousand of them in here apparently. So these ones we should actually be able to see. We can't really see the eggs, they're a bit too small for us to um, to see. But let's let's have a look at these Rove Beetles, what they might look like if there's some in here, in this top layer. <laughs> can't see any in that section. Let's, let's tip some of these Rove Beetles into the, the soil over here. So, oh, the rove beetles are very tiny by the looks of it. I just saw a few of them scatter away as they did. You can see one crawling away. So these rove beetles are very tiny looking little things. But they eat things in the soil. You can see another one running away there. So we'll chuck some of these in each of the bases of my pots. These guys can apparently fly a little bit as well. So that might make a difference in uh, once they get to adult stage. They can help spread and proliferate around the tent. Um, I don't know if I have many soil borne pests so I'm not too worried but the prevention I've found now is better than the cure which is having all your plants decimated by various types of insect pests so we'll keep that in one of the boxes as well just in case there's a few of those left behind 
And the final thing that I have here, Montdorensis predatory mites. So these uh, control thrips and white flies. So they also control rust mites, spider mites, and broad mites. So just another little preventative measure for the spider mites, which I think all the spider mites are dead. I haven't seen any signs of spider mites in the tent. Everything, this little man here over here was totally devastated by those spider mites. I thought I was actually gonna die, but now look how healthy those leaves are now that the spider mites are under control. I've never really seen the predatory mites, but they're clearly in the tent because the spider mites, I've not seen one hair or hide of them since they have been kind of destroyed. And look, here's a bit of an information on these uh, Delosia rove beetles as well. So they look like fierce little creatures. I hope that they do their job. So anyway, that's a bit of an update, guys. These, um, these biological controls are from now on going to be my main control method for pests because uh, having seen how effective they are and that they are totally natural and I just, I just love them. I just love them with all my heart. They're a beautiful, beautiful thing that I've found along. So I'll let you go with this one, guys, and I'll catch you all in the next one.